Mike built a rectangular dog pen that is 21 feet long and it has a perimeter of 78 feet. What is the width of Mike's dog pen? So let's try to draw this dog pen. So it's going to have some width. It's going to have some width and I'll just label that as the width. And it's going to have a, a length of 21 feet. So this distance right over here is going to be 21. And of course, this is as well. It's a rectangle. So this is also going to be a distance of 21. And of course, this distance down here is also going to be, also going to be the width. Now, how do you calculate the perimeter of this? They tell us that the perimeter is 78 feet. But how do we calculate the perimeter using this information? Well, the perimeter is just the sum of these two widths and these two lengths. So the perimeter is going to be the width, the width, plus the width, plus the two lengths, plus 21, plus 21. This will give us the distance if we go around this rectangular dog pen. And they tell us that this thing needs to be equal to 78 feet. It needs to be equal to, let me do that same color, it needs to be equal to 78. Now, we could simplify this expression on the left-hand side a little bit. We know that the width plus the width, the width plus the width, plus the sum of the two lengths, which are both the same, so plus the sum of the two lengths, plus 42, is going to, be need, is going to equal 78. So what must the width plus the width be equal to? So I have something, I have this thing, plus 42 is equal to 78. So if I have something plus 42 is equal to 78, that means that this something must be 78 minus 42. So let's write that down. Width plus width is going to be equal to 78 minus 42, which is, which is, I'll do it in a new color, 78 minus 42 is 36. And you can verify this. If this thing right over here is equal to 36, if the sum of my two widths, or essentially this is two times the width, if two times the width is 36, then width plus width is 36, then this right over here is 36. 36 plus 42 is indeed equal to 78. So we need to get figure out a width so that if I add the width to itself, I get 36 because then you add those two, you get 36 plus 21 plus 21 is equal to 78. So what number plus itself is going to be equal to 36? Another way to rewrite this is a number plus itself is the same thing as two times that number. So two times, two times the width is going to be equal to 36. And when later on, when we learn algebra in a little bit more detail, you'll see that they're they're very uh, that this that what essentially what we're doing is actually algebra. But it just comes out of out of common sense, out of out of logic. So if I say two times some value is equal to 36, what is that value going to be? Well, two times two times 18 is 36. So the width is equal to the width is equal to 18. And you might say, well, how do you how did I know if how did I figure out that the width is equal to 18? Well, there's a couple of ways to think about it. If 2 times the width is equal to 36, then the width the width must be equal to 36 divided by 2. Must be equal to 36 over 2, which would also get you 18. So there's a lot of ways to think about it. And later on, when we learn algebra in a little bit more detail, things like this will seem even more obvious. But just wanted to show you that you can actually reason this through just with what we know about perimeter.